Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bikes. I am your friend Abhul Chakivel. In this video, we are going to convert some of the object-oriented uh, code into a functional code, right? So as, as I already mentioned, we are going to use a lot of lambda expressions and streams whenever possible. And this is one such case where I see a necessity or uh, or a way to add you know functional programming into our uh, Java code. So yeah, without wasting much time, uh, we will get back uh, to the IntelliJ and uh, yeah, so this is how it is and uh, there was a small mistake that we did in the previous uh, you know previous code that we have written of course we will try to refactor that the one such thing is we have created a new configuration file but we didn't mention which file we want to map it to so let's uh, go ahead and copy the text like uh, we want to take this values from the browser hyphen stack properties right so we don't want to match it with any other values Again, most probably these values won't get overridden. So you can also remove them, right? So, so you can keep it like this. Again, if you want to override any of these values as a Maven arguments or your parameters, you can keep it. But I guess I'm not going to use that. So let me remove that. Let's try to verify whether this browser stack URL is coming correctly. Uh, let's go to the demo test that we have. And let's try to get the values. Uh, so browser stack config factory dot get config dot browser stack URL. Let me do a swiss out and see whether it is working. So guys, if you notice, uh, this is not coming. The username is also not coming. So we have some problem here. Let's go ahead and fix them. Out. I know what is the problem. One is I forgot to mention the curly braces here. That is one of the problem. And uh, also, if you notice, uh, we have written username all in small letters here, right? So, so by default, unless this gets computed, you cannot able to get this value. So you have to actually use the value like this. Or you can basically change this to a capital N and then you can use it. So in our case, whatever the value provided in the username will be stored as username until it gets evaluated. This computation will not happen, right? So, so before that, you can only access this with a key name. So I am using something like this. Let's try to run it again and let's see what's out. So now this is ABCD1234 and whatever the key you have. Again, for now I have used dummy values, but you can use the real values here, right? So this is absolutely working fine. Let's uh, close all these things and uh, let's get into the local driver factory. Again, this is something you want to refactor. So let's do that. Uh, again, if you are not comfortable using Lambda, you can keep it like this. Now let's remove this and try to migrate this to the, so let's uh, go maximize. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a map, okay, a final map. And this map is going to have a browser type as the key, okay? And the value is going to be of supplier. Sorry, not the suppress warnings. It's going to be supplier. Web drive, right? And uh, this can be quoted. And I can name this as map equal to new enum map. Again, guys, enum map is something when the key is or key that you're going to store is an enum, you can use enum type. Again, from Java, you don't, Java 8, you have don't have to mention the generics here. You can just tell browser type dot class. And don't worry about the intention, uh, intentations. Uh, this all will be taken care by our plugin. So we're gonna use some plugins that gonna do that for us, right? So we don't have to really worry about it. Once it is done, uh, I'll create a static block and inside this map, I'll I'll store some values. It's maybe I'll go step by step. So I'll create a another variable that supplier that's going to return us web driver and let's name this as pro right and if someone is calling this all it's going to do is call chrome manager dot get driver right this is what we're going to do and we can just replace this with the method reference right and also i can create one more that is for firefox and this is going to do firefox manager dot get so yeah, and you can store this into a map, right? So for storing this into a map, I can use browser type dot Chrome and I can store the Chrome, right? 
and also map dot push browser type dot firefox and i can store the firefox right yeah instead of writing this get driver like this i will do uh, public static it's going to always return get uh, web driver so get driver going to accept the browser type there is no difference here but the only difference here is going to return map dot get okay i guess map dot get our default will be really useful so let's say but we have already handled this right so there is no chances that you get apart from chrome or firefox because we have already handled this in a different place for example if you go to the you know converters sync to browser type converter we are we are making sure that we try to give firefox or chrome uh, chrome or firefox or by default it will give us chrome so there is no way that we get something out of box from the chrome or firefox so this is already handled so there is no reason for me to use uh, get our default so i'm just using get and what of the browser type that's coming i'm going to do that and i can basically call the get method of the supplier interface to call this right so this is replicable so i am going to remove all these things which is not needed now right and i can keep this at the top so that's more readable right so good so everything looks fine but the thing is again if you are comfortable without writing this you can directly you know instead of creating this variable you can directly do this right so this is not needed if you are comfortable yeah so you can remove it so now this is very very neat there is some problem it's showing yeah this looks fine so yeah so this is how i don't see a problem but it's still showing some problem let's close this and open it again yeah all the errors are gone now let's go to the remote driver factory and we'll do the deep factoring now right so we're going to do the refactoring here the only thing that we need to uh, know is we know previously we use a supplier because it doesn't accepts any parameter but this time the method is accepting one parameter so we are going to accept uh, one parameter and we are going to return web driver so this is going to be a function interface implementation so let's do some changes so private uh static final again uh, we'll have a map that's going to store browser remote mode type and it's going to always return us web driver and let's name this map equal to new enum map right and this enum is going to be of browser more remote more type dot class sorry it's going to be inside the constructor right and let's import this good all good now we're going to have a private static final uh we're going to have a function type right so function is going to accept browser type and it's going to return web driver so this is going to be the value as well okay it was wrong before yeah let's import this class from java.util.function right all good now selenium grid if someone is I want to accept a browser type, okay? And whatever that's coming, uh, I'm just simply gonna do return them Selenium grid factor dot get driver and browser type. Again, this can be replaced with method reference. You all know, so we are accepting the parameter and just passing it. We are not doing anything else, so we can replace this with right. So again, I can mimic it and replace this with selenoid and this is going to be selenoid selenoid factor and this is browser stack browser underscore stack browser stack factor right so this is as simple as that and we're also going to have a map sorry static block that's going to store this push and i'm going to put browser remote mode type dot 
selenium and this is going to hold selenium function interface right and if you also replace selenide this is going to have selenide browser stack we are going to store browser stack it says so yeah that's all about it and we don't need this anymore so we will replace this and we'll simply say map dot get and for now we are trying to get uh, whatever the browser remote mode that we want we'll try to get it and we'll use the apply method and uh, we will pass the browser type okay once you get all these things it's going to return you a web driver right. so as simple as that so the clumsy if, if the conditions block is now removed it's a simple map it's going to get the value for us and again if you are not comfortable uh, if you are comfortable not using these variables you can replace them so for now uh, i'll do that as well and this is something like this let's replace this this is again right we don't need this anymore right single map uh, some static uh, static block uh, just to store the values and a simple one liner function that can do the job for us so as simple as that right so so that's all about it um, we can also refactor the same way these classes right so the browser stack factory uh, selenium grid factory they are all simple uh, map you can mimic something from the local driver factory it's going to have almost the same way only thing is the values here are going to change apart from that everything else remains the same so yeah you can basically mimic it right i see you guys in another great video until then tada bye bye from mamudan bye bye guys